Hi everyone. I'm back. This is Connie. I'm going to do something quick or kind of quick, hopefully. This is my acrylic paint tray. I is the uh, Masterson handy palette stay wet and you get these sheets here and you soak them in water warm water and then uh, you cut it down to size which that's what this is until it's very well used and then you have a sponge underneath that you wet these brushes they're nothing special the watercolor brushes and acrylic brushes uh, which I don't I just buy brushes I don't you know and I use whatever I like that's what you should do you just use whatever you like and I either use a rag or paper towel to do my to dry off my brushes so those are the brushes I'll be using this paint is a cadmium yellow uh, medium hue. This is phthalo blue. I love it. This is a deep purple. I didn't bring that in here, but uh, with me to show you. But uh, these are the two different types that I like to use. This is still by Liquid Text, but some of them are just a little different um, with their performance. Some have better pigments and last longer. What I'm going to do is do a wet on wet first around my little hummingbird here. And I'm going to be as quick as possible. Okay, so this is water paper, but you can do anything on this. It's a 140 pound cold press fabrino or something like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some this lovely blue and see how it does almost exactly like watercolor. Isn't that something? Spreads. That's what the water does to the paint. It makes it spread like that. I'm just going to put this around here and there. Make it balanced around. Then I'm going to rinse out my brush and I'm going to grab some of this beautiful little red here. It's kind of an orangey looking red. And of course that's going to make kind of like a purple when it mixes with the blue. Which is fine by me. Which this is purple. Good deep, deep purple. I can grab some of that and put that in there. I love it. I love purple. And I really like that burnt sienna, which I'm going to grab some of that, put that in there. I love burnt sienna, especially when doing sunsets or sunrises and it has that yellow and tint in it. Oh my gosh. It's just beautiful to me. It just is. I'm going to add a little white in here with my red. Oh, some more water. Push it around. I should have got my other red. I should have used the crimson. Okay. I say that and I keep going. But there. I think that'll do it. Uh, almost kind of like, because how wet it is, it acts like watercolor. Mm. 
Okay. Now, now that when it dries, it's drying pretty quick here. I'm going to take my orange. I might go get the other color. I don't know. But I'm going to make little bottle brush looking. Bushy uh, flowers here. My mom had a bottle brush tree in her backyard, and it was like a bird sanctuary back there. And the hummingbird. Um, I'm not sure. I have to look it up. What kind it was? It had green. Had like it had a white throat. I've got pictures. It had a white throat with a green. Um, green back feathers. I'm gonna put a little water on there. And then it's, I'm gonna do the cut. I'm gonna do some purple. Purple and baby. Okay, let's make that a little bit smaller. Let's get a little black. Put that in there. wet. Take some of that. Change that out. No, nope, don't want that to be like that. Nope, 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 nope. Let me do a little bit under here. This is a bit of a shadow here. And do this up to here. Find my these feathers. Add a little water, make it look kind of watery colory. Colory. Watery colory. So it spreads better. Oh, you gotta do his little foot there. His little foot. I'm gonna have this one hanging over here like that. Let me put this one over here. And some shadows with the dark, with the black because I'm not gonna take one with the other.
done. Close this up. And I'm not going to use it for a while. I'll put it in the freezer. And it uh, stay. The paint will stay good for a long time. So I think that's good enough. I mean, I like it. Isn't that pretty? Thank you. And um, please come back and join me. And hit the subscribe button if it's up there. I'm trying to get it up there. It's not up there right now. Um, they need to restore it. And um, hit the like if you like it. And if you want to subscribe to it and you want to see more of my art work and step by step on how to do it, then um, if you hit subscribe, then it, it, uh, you won't miss anything. Um, what else? <laughs> uh, share, like, comment. If you have any suggestions, please give them to me. I need all the help I can get. You know, we help each other. We, uh, we're all teachers. And uh, we learn from each other. And I'm not done yet. <laughs> so, if you would, I'd appreciate any kind of tips that you have to help my videos better. And paint better. You can paint better. Anything that helps. I appreciate it. And uh, if you do subscribe and like and share and comment and watch the video all the way to the end, it helps me it helps my channel grow and it will help me and I need like I said all the help I can get thank you so much everyone